saw that uh, caring for a pet is a pretty big commitment. Whether it's a dog or a cat, there's a lot of factors you have to think into uh, taking care of that, like grooming, uh, baths, food, water, uh, vet checkups, and constant care. But the, you know the little the benefits you can get from a pet, you can also get from a plant. ABC News, according to ABC News in 2017, studies have proven that house plants improve concentration, memory, and learning capabilities. It also improves uh, quality of life, and they help stabilize stress levels. And with that, I'd like to talk about home gardening and the benefits that come with it, like eco-friendly uh, thoughts and uh, uh, contributions to the environment. And it also gives you the ability to kind of care for yourself and give you food that you've grown your own. Now I'd like to talk about the steps, the process of starting your own home garden. So that includes first uh, thinking of what plants you want to put, whether it's like a fruit, a vegetable, or flowers. It's really up to you. Like there's a variety of plants you can get. It also comes down to what restrictions you have upon what plants you can plant, whether it's environmental issues, like uh, maybe you don't get enough moisture in the air throughout the year, enough precipitation, or enough sunlight, whether you want to like have indoor plants or outdoor plants. Those are also factors you have to think into. There are also certain, certain legal factors that come into play. Like according to an article in Sustainable in America in 2018, Couple in Miami, Florida, have actually been uh, told that their front yard vegetable garden was not allowed according to new zoning codes by the city. It mentions that the city had implemented these codes for aesthetic purposes. So I guess maybe having a front yard garden wasn't pleasing to the uh, neighborhood to look at. And it mentioned that if they, the couple did not take on the, the garden, it would be a fifty dollar fee per day that they neglected to take down. Now that we've talked about the certain restrictions and what to look into when to starting your own garden, I'd like to talk about choosing a plant and preparations. There are, as I talked about, various types of plants you can choose, vegetables, fruits, or flowers. It's up to you whether what you want is like to get food that you want to prepare yourself and grow yourself, or whether you want to make your house look nice and aesthetically pleasing from the outside. Certain uh, certain equipment is also needed to start your garden. According to Quick Crop Blog 2014, it says the essential equipment for home gardeners include a wheelbarrow, dibbers, digging spades, garden trowel, fork hole, garden knife, and garden skewers. This equipment is able to help you efficiently garden your plants and make sure that they come out healthy and strong, able to prune out any excess leaves or remove any plants that you choose. Another thing that you have to look into is preparing the soil needed for your plants. The soil provides various amounts of nutrients for the plants, so caring for it plays a big role in how strong and how healthy they can grow. The Planet Natural Resource Center advises to look into the soil's texture, the type of soil you're planting, uh, air, water, oxygen, and um, uh, organic matter and fertilizer. Now that I've talked about the equipment, factors in the soil, and what plants you choose to talk about, like to, not, to talk about uh, the, uh, the maintenance that comes into owning a plant. So plants require large amounts of water. They also tend to have insects attracted to them, so you have to prepare for pesticides and certain ways to repel your, uh, your insects from the garden. This is need to talk about maintenance in the form of making it aesthetically pleasing, make sh making sure that your garden looks nice to, to guests or to yourself to make sure that you're able to take out any dead plants, make sure to arrange them in symmetrical patterns to make them look nicer, and the ability to put decorations or any anything you plan to choose, like certain colors of uh, flowers complement each other, and certain fruits look bigger, maybe more pleasing to the eye. Now that I talked about 
of the processes that go into growing your own home garden. Um, I'd like to inform you of where you can get more information. The California Department of Food and Agriculture provides a lot more information on what plants can be grown throughout the year and what you should look out throughout the uh, certain seasons, like certain heat waves or amounts of precipitation.